there are some other fundamental discoveries that have happened in the last five years that are changing the way we view uh, the entire disease process. For instance, it used to be thought that when you have a tumor, a big ball of cells, that every one of those tumor cells was exactly alike. What we now know is that it's simply not the case, that these cells are incredibly diverse. Many of them do not have the capacity to actually form a new tumor. But a small number of cells in that tumor, maybe just 1% or 3%, have that capacity, and we call those tumor-initiating cells, meaning that if you take out the whole tumor, you can get rid of 99% of the cells, and the 1% that remain have the capacity to completely cause the tumor to recur. And in fact, what we have found is that most of the chemotherapy and other targeted agents that we have that we've used uh, have been designed to be used against all the other cells in the tumor that are rapidly dividing and not against these tumor-initiating cells. And the promise there, or certainly the hope, is that by understanding the tumor-initiating cell that we can then come up with new therapies targeted toward that cell population that would keep a tumor from recurring. That would, in essence, be a cure for this disease. So I'm very hopeful that in the near term, we're not talking about decades from now, but we're really talking about in the next three to five years, that we will see new therapies that will help these patients. And that's why we work so hard at keeping them well and keeping them alive, because even using our existing therapies, the idea that we can keep someone alive for that time frame is now possible.